Hello, everybody. No matter what type of envelope you need, a really big one, a really small one, or maybe a non-traditional one, the Envelope Punch Board is the product for you. It's really easy to use. You'll find when you get it that it comes with directions, but also there's a list of directions right here on the board itself. There are measurements for 66 different envelope sizes. And if you want to swap the imperial measurements that it comes with for metric ones, there's a sticker provided for you so you can make whatever sorts of measurements you want. And from there, it's really simple. You figure out what size card you have. So let's say that my card size is four and a quarter by five and a half. What I need to make my envelope, it says the paper size, I need an eight by eight square of paper. I can use cardstock or uh, my DSP. And the next piece of measurement I need is the score line, which is at three and a half inches. So I'm gonna take that measurement that's right there up here to this ruler. It, this ruler goes down to the eighth of an inch, so you know you can make lots of different sizes of envelopes. I'm gonna go to the three and a half inch. I'm gonna line up the edge of my paper right there, and that is the only measurement I need to make to make my envelope. So I'm gonna pull out this scoring tool right here that's tucked in the side for safekeeping and storage. And there's a score line that runs diagonal all the way down the side of the tool right there. So I'm going to put the scoring tool right there and follow that. I want to make sure I punch every time as well. So the best recipe is to punch and then score. When I punch, it's going to give me some notches right there that will be important as I am folding my envelope in just a second. So now I'm going to twist that around to the next side. And there's uh, some writing right here that says score guide. I'm gonna line up the score line that I just made to that score guide right there. I don't have to measure anything else. Then I'm gonna punch again, and then I'm going to score. I'm gonna turn it again. Again, I'm gonna line up my score line with that score guide right there. I'm gonna punch, and then I'm going to score. Then I'm gonna turn one more time, my line right there with the score guide. I'm going to line that up. I'm going to punch, and then I'm going to score. And easy as that, I'm ready to fold my envelope. So when I do this, I can use several types of adhesive if I want. I could use mini glue dots. I could use snail. I could use sticky strip, depending on how secure I want my envelope to be. But I could secure that shut. And then to finish this off, I'm going to take the very top of my envelope. And you, of course, could do this with all the sides if you wanted. I'm going to go on the reverse side of the punch right here and punch. And right there, I have an awesome corner rounder punch right there that will finish off my envelope. So like I said, you can make 66 different sizes of envelopes using this, the measurements right here that come with the device. And you can do fun things like this. You can include a liner right there just by making a smaller envelope to go inside and securing it right there so I have some color and some pizzazz. If I make a non-traditional size envelope like this one, I'm going to have some extra paper so I can choose to fold it in like that or trim it off if I want. And then I can also trim off this front flap right there, fold it under whatever works best for me and my card design. All of the great things you can do with this great, portable, easy to use envelope punch board. Thanks everybody.